Later, there is a break in the case of a deadly hit and run boat crash. It killed a high school football player in the Hill Country. Investigators just arrested a suspect in the 2002 crash on Lake Buchanan. 18 year old Justin Roberts died, and two of his friends were hurt. Some days they may, you know, you remember things and make you laugh. Sometimes they pull at you. For David Roberts, every photograph is a memory. They all just bring back something. You know, you know, there's, it's a lifetime. On a summer night in May 2002, David and his wife Donna lost their only child, 18 year old Justin just weeks before graduation at Lampasas High School. The boat he was fishing in with two friends was blindsided by a speeding boat in the darkness on the water at Lake Buchanan. His friends survived, but Justin didn't, and the driver of the other boat never stopped to help. There's, there's been quite a bit over the years, quite a bit. Over the years, there have been leads in the case, but they've all grown cold until now. A new tip to Texas Parks and Wildlife investigators led them to a rural home in Burnett County. The man who lives there, 36-year-old Travis Aaron Marburger, is now charged with manslaughter in the case. Everything we've battled, most of it hasn't been with the person that did it or weren't, you know, with that part, you know, it's been us and life. David Roberts says for him, it's never been about vengeance. After it's all over with, this house will be the same. A house full of photographs and memories. It's all, all, you know, it's all you got. Investigators say they have good evidence from the scene. Pieces of the boat that hit Justin Roberts and his friends ended up inside their boat. They say the tip they got and what led them to the property in Burnett was about who owned that boat. The search at Marburger's property will continue tomorrow morning.